This video is brought to you by JingleMine.com. Founded in Hong Kong, but located throughout the world, they are one of the leading ASIC mining distributors out there. They have a strong relationship with Jazz Miner, which means that they can provide you the best price and the latest info or updates for your Jazz Miner. Additionally, they work hard to respond to customer inquiries or questions, providing 24 seven support and have one of the fastest deliveries in the ASIC industry. Some of their products include the Jazz Miner X4-QZ, which can hit 840 mega hash at 340 watts while being whisper quiet. And I can vouch for that. And the new X16-Q is on pre-sale now and can hit 1.8 giga hash at only 630 watts on ETC hash. Lastly, they accept a number of cryptocurrencies as payment. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description and help support our channel by supporting its partners. Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here with Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about whether or not a dual core CPU is enough for today's GPU mining. In short, I believe the answer is yes. There's plenty of other cryptocurrencies and algorithms that users can mine. Um, and if you look at any of the guys throughout the many years, you just get a inexpensive dual core CPU, throw a little bit of memory at it, like four gig stick, uh, load it up with a bunch of GPUs and you're able to hash, you know, ETH hash, Kapow, Flux, whatever it might be. And that's still perfectly fine today. It's only until recently where we bumped into a newer coin, Dynex coin, and a newer algorithm, Dynexcel, that we're seeing this limitation of the dual core CPUs that we've uh, used for many years. And I have personally experienced this on one of my rigs, but I found where that, that limitation starts to take full. I also showed in a previous video how dual instance mining could help alleviate that, but I did bump into some problems. I'll have that linked in the description as well. And then 3 Fox Co. did a great job talking about how your CPU might be limiting your rig's performance with, when it comes to Dynex mining. And on Discord and even in 3 Fox Co.'s video, uh, we talked about how your CPU should have AES instruction set enabled. Uh, a lot of people that were posting in Discord didn't even have an AES uh, uh, capable CPU. So that was hampering their performance or limiting their performance and hash rate that they could get on their rigs. But you can see the CPU that we have here is a G3930T. Now, this is a Cavi Lake CPU, uh, so it's not that old. And then my other rig has a G3900, which is a Skylake CPU. That one's, a, I think, 2015. And I think this one's 2017. So they're not too terribly old, perfectly capable of, again, mining a, a, a you know Ethereum proof of work, Ether Gem, Kapow, uh, Fero, Caspa, whatever. It would pretty much do it. But... As we move into these more AI driven world, you know, will we need more system memory and more CPU cores? I think that has a little bit of merit to it, but not quite yet. Um, one of the examples I want to show you here is on the 12 GP rig. If I get out of your way, what you'll see here is on the right hand side is 800 hashes. And then at the top here, we only see 668 hashes because the numbers of each of these GPUs or the hash rate of each of these GPUs when added up should equal the number on the left, but it's not. So the CPU is limiting the hash rate being reported, right? And we want to make sure our hash rate is reported not only at the minor, right? It should have 800 here at the minor. It should have 800 here at the top of this particular Hive OS page for this minor but then it should also have it at the pool and we're not seeing that. So what is translating over is not the full hash rate. So we're missing out on potential rewards uh, and profits because the CPU is limiting the performance of that particular system. But on my uh, first system, it's not. And what I found is it looks like 660 to 700 hashes is the limit of a dual core CPU on this particular Dynex solve algorithm. You can see it says 700 here it says 699 right here. And if we do add up all of these numbers, and it'll be around 699, 700. So we are getting the full hash rate of this particular system, which has nine GPUs at the pool level. It's just the second one with 12 GPUs and 800 hashes is not getting or hitting its full potential or full profitability. But this isn't, this isn't a common occurrence. This is something that's just happening on one algorithm. So in short, or summary, is a dual core enough? Yes, 
a dual core is perfectly acceptable and I believe it will be acceptable for years to come. But as newer algorithms come out, you know, will we have something similar to DynexSolve, a newer algorithm similar to DynexSolve um, that is going to require the CPU to play a more vital role? Because usually when it comes to GPU mining, the CPU isn't doing much. Uh, when it comes to CPU mining, we all know that you want to get a efficient, probably a Ryzen CPU that's very good at hashing away, whether it's, uh, you know, Ghost Rider or Raptorium or Monero. But we're not doing that with GPU mining. So we never really looked at the CPU. It didn't really need to be a powerhouse. It just needed to get the job done. And they have been doing that for years. It's only just now we bump it into an algorithm where four cores seems to be the minimum if you're going to have over 800 hashes. Anything over 700 hashes on one system um, is definitely going to require a, a CPU with more cores. Okay. So we'll see how things pan out in the future, but I don't have, I don't see any threats coming for the dual core CPUs just yet. And what's funny is, is the mining uh, boom has helped save these dual core CPUs that would unfortunately be recycled, thrown away. Uh, I hope not thrown away irresponsibly, but it saved these CPUs uh, from being recycled and put to work and utilized because most mining rigs today are running a dual core CPU with four gigs of memory. Um, I believe we might need eight um, in the future, eight gigs of memory, system memory, and then four cores is going to be the new MIM uh, sometime in the future, but just not yet. So dual core, you're perfectly fine. If you can't mine Dynex Solve on your particular system and you want to upgrade your CPU, go for it, but you're doing that for one algorithm, one coin. Not that there's anything in me telling you against that i'm just saying i'm gonna do it because i just love to test and tune but i wouldn't go changing or altering your entire mining rig setup um, or multiple rigs setup just for one algorithm or coin if it's perfectly capable at hashing all these other cryptocurrencies just fine just my thoughts but i want to hear your comments down below and that's gonna do it for today's video so do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification button to stay up to date as well check out some of the links in the description that will support the channel and what we do here and i'll catch you in the next one take care Thank you.